Hello and welcome to another Android tutorial. This is tutorial number 21. Uh, this is our first uh, little demonstration of some JSON code to parse data that we get back from a uh, URL. Uh, let's go ahead and fire up our tutorial. And you can see it just says Peter, purple, and some numbers. It's supposed to be a date. Uh, it looks like someone was playing with it and didn't enter the date properly. But it's basically just a series of uh, variables loaded into a text view. Now let's go look at our code. You can see tutorial 21. We've got a whole bunch of includes, uh, some of which we've seen just in number 20, uh, immediately prior to this tutorial. We've got our input stream, our input stream reader, our buffer, and our favorite uh, HTTP classes, our entity, response, client, post, default client. Now we've got some new ones. We've got JSON array, JSON exception, and JSON object. And we'll look at those in a little bit. You can see um, the body of our onCreate, which is our only real method uh, in our Tutorial 21 Java class, very, very similar to number 20. Um, we have our call our super. We've got our set content view. Same text view as before, just a single text view. Now we create a string just called result, and we set it to empty string. And then we try to connect to our URL. This is all the same as before. And this is all the same as before up until you get to here. And what we're doing here is we're reading the contents uh, of that response, firing, creating a string builder object and a line that's just a string, and we keep reading the line in from the buffered reader over and over and over and appending those lines and a new, new line character to the string builder object over and over again until we have no more read lines in. Then we close our input stream and we convert our string builder object to a string and hold it in result. And that's it. Then we come down to here. We call our JSON array on our result string. JSON array takes a string as an argument to create our JSON array. So now we've got our JSON array and we can iterate over that, which we do here. Um, creating JSON objects from each element in our JSON array over and over and over again for the whole length of the thing. And we're just tagging those into the text view. Now you see this is bad code because we're resetting it for each object in the text string. So all we're seeing here is the very last one in all of the results. Not terribly useful, just to demonstrate that this is how we handle our JSON response. Um, now I'll show you, this is tutorial uh, 21. Here's a little PHP file that is included with the project. And you can see, real simple, database, blah, connect, pull a response, take what we can get, throw it into an array, JSON encode, and send it to the, to the browser, or in this case, send it to our application. The rest of our project just some error handling. You can see try, catch, try, catch, try, catch. And the entire on create is inside a try and a catch. Uh, we do some nice logging for some error handling, which we've done before. Uh, other than that, there, there really isn't anything else. You can look at the manifest. Everything is the same. Minimum SDK version 8. That's been the same through every application tutorial I've ever written. Um, permission, internet. M only thing you really have to worry about in this uh, project is making sure you have that set. Other than that, it's real basic. We just wanted to get our first uh, toe in the water, so to speak, uh, of showing us how to do some JSON. Uh, the main thing to realize here is what we're doing in this little block here. We are reading the entire buffer in putting those lines by line into the string builder object. And then once the entire buffer is read in, we close the input stream and we convert our string buffer object into a string. We then take that string and use that to create our JSON array. That's it. That's the basic way to handle JSON responses from a web URL. Uh, it's real simple. You don't need to get overly complicated. You can. Um, but this is a good start, and I'll have some more uh, for you to go over in tutorial number 22.